Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. Today I am outside sifting some potting mix. Now what I have right here, you all, is just some Kellogg's brand raised bed potting mix. I also have some perlites. And I also have some worm castings. Now the worm castings are not necessary for what I'm doing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna put in uh, for this, um, I don't know if I've shown you all how I do this mix. I think I have with the, um, with the uh, potting mix. And I think I've also shown you how to make it with peat moss, vermiculite, perlite, and also um, a little bit of uh, worm castings as well, or just some compost, okay? So I've, I've shown how to do it both ways when it comes to making your own potting mix. Instead of buying that uh, seed starting mix that's like $5 for a little bag, it could be more now. But I'm just in the process of sifting this. I have a sifter here. Now you could, I'm gonna see if I could find one online because every time I show this one, um, a few of you always ask, where did I get it from? So I'm gonna see if I could find one online and um, leave a link to it so that if you do wanna make your own potting mix and you wanna sift your, um, uh, your garden mix, then you can do that, okay? Now I sift this, I also sift the peat moss when I use the peat moss. The peat moss, I sifted because it has so many large pieces of like little sticks and all of that in there. So I will sift it all just to get those big pieces out because I don't want anything preventing our uh, seeds from germinating and from coming up through the seed starting mix, okay? But you all, while I sift this, this video really is not about making seed starting mix. This video was actually talking about there's no better time than right now to start a garden. There's no better time than right now to get your garden started, okay? Even if you've never grown a single plant before, even if you've never so much as taken care of an ivy, if you got a little bit of space, Consider starting your very own garden, okay? Now is a good time to start growing your own food, you all. All right, now I know I've probably talked about this before because so many people are always saying, do you see the prices of these eggs, Mrs. H? <laughs> yeah, we see it. <laughs> we see it and we know what's going on. So you all, now is a good time to start a garden, okay? Even if you just do a few things that you know you love to eat. If you love salads, you know what? I'm going to show you all something. I keep all of my um, coffee pot, not coffee pot, <laughs> all of my containers that my coffee comes in, I keep them. Because you all, you can literally put a few holes in there, in the bottom of that little container, and you can grow lettuces in that container. And I may show you all that. I may show you all the little tip to radishes. Like some people love radishes. You can grow radishes in containers, okay? So you all, now is a good time to start an easy, simple, simple garden, okay? You can get uh, tomatoes that are container friendly. And by the way, if you're gonna be growing tomatoes and you're in, I would just say the Southern states, 
I would say now is the time to start those tomatoes and pepper seeds. In fact, that window is closing. So now is the time to start tomatoes and peppers. If you're gonna be growing onions, now is the time. Those onions should have been planted, but you can still get some onions started if you want, right? Some nasturtiums, I have my nasturtiums planted and I am sifting this because I'm getting ready to start my marigolds and calendula and some herbs and all of that too. So I need enough sifted mix so that I can get my herbs going, my thyme and oregano and basil. It's time to get all of those seeds started right now. And I'm gonna tell y'all something like, if you decide to do seed starts, that's fine. If you don't wanna start the seeds or if you feel like maybe you can't start the seeds yourself for whatever reason, you don't think you would be or have too much success with doing it and you decide to buy the starts, y'all keep in mind, seed starts are like $4 a pop. They are getting so expensive, you know? They are getting very expensive when it comes to these seed starts. So I'm telling you, even if for right now, you just decide to try to start your own seeds, and if you're not successful, okay, fine. Then you can go ahead and look into getting some six packs or, or whatnot from your local nursery, you know. But give it a try yourself first. You, you never know, you might be very successful at doing it yourself okay now i think i've done a video on how to start tomatoes and peppers and and all of that but this is the time to get those things started right this is the time there's no better time like the present to start your very own backyard garden all right well, I don't have room. I don't have space for a garden. Everybody don't have the same amount of space. But what you can do, you can go ahead and have a look and see, well, what are you working with? You know, are you working with space the size of my little garden cart? Do you have space enough for a four by eight type of a garden bed? Or do you only have room for some containers? Take all of that into consideration and that'll kind of help you to decide what you can grow. If you don't have the space in your backyard, there is another alternative. And I'm going to talk about that alternative in the next video because I want to share those things with you all, okay? I want to share all of that with you all because now is it's like, it's, it's now, right? It's right now that we need to be growing our own food. I say it every season. <laughs> There's no better time like the present for us to be growing our own groceries. Can you just imagine the beauty? Mr. H always calls it aisle nine. <laughs> Can you just imagine the beauty of when you want to make a salad, you just come outside and cut you some lettuce pick you a few tomatoes and maybe a pepper or so, pull you an onion and make your own salad, right? Yeah. There's no better time like the present than to start your very own backyard garden, you all. But again, we're gonna discuss those alternatives. If you don't have the space in your backyard, we're gonna discuss those alternatives, okay? So what am I gonna do with the leftover wood chips here? 
because I do have a lot. <laughs> this is why I sift it, right? I don't want the seedlings to struggle to come up through this. But these wood chips, y'all, they make excellent, excellent mulch for your trees. They make excellent mulch in your garden to help with weed control. You just put, put the mulch on top, right? Once your little seedling emerges, you're gonna, you know, just put some mulch around it. That'll help with the weeds and all of that. But this does not go to waste. We hang on to this. And I just rub it back and forth to make sure I get all of the, the dirt or the soil, not dirt, soil through my little sifter here. So what are you all thinking about gardening? What are you all planning, right? What are your goals for 2023 when it comes to gardening? Have you set any goals? Post it in the comment section below. I'd love to know. I'd love to know. And even with the, just thinking about the weather right now, the weather has been like really something this year. You know what I'm saying? Because with the weather, we really haven't had a whole bunch of cold, weather days right i mean the coldest weather we've had thus far has been when we had those freezing temperatures here a few weeks back but since then the weather has been actually kind of pleasant yeah it's actually been kind of pleasant so I'm, recon I'm reconsidering some things when it comes to the average last frost date, okay? <laughs> I know what they say, but I just don't know if we're going to have weather like that. I just don't know if we're going to be expecting any more freezing temperatures anytime soon. But one could sneak up on us <laughs> in April. <laughs> That has happened before. Y'all remember, because we lost it all, right? So one of the things that we want to consider, you all, is the frost. When you're starting all of your seedlings, you want to make sure every day you're watching the weather. Every day. Especially if you're going to have them outside in like a little greenhouse or a little makeshift greenhouse. You want to make sure that you keep your eye on the weather. Now, all of our seedlings that we are starting, we start them indoors and we keep them indoors under grow lights. Yeah, we keep them indoors under grow lights until we are certain the danger of frost has passed and then we'll be getting them ready to plant outside. And that's what I have left. And that shows you, this is a lot of organic matter right here. And that shows you just how much organic matter is in this potting mix, which lets you know this is not good to start your seeds in, not as is, okay? And once I'm done, once I'm done, I'm left with this, right? Just a real soft, nicely sifted mix, okay? And that's what we want. And then like I say, I just take this, I'm gonna sit this to the side because it's going in my bin for all of my other material. That's gonna be used for motion. And this is gonna be equal parts of this with my perlite and with my worm castings and then I will use this to fill the cells of my trays. Now my mix is kind of moist already so I, I really won't have to add uh, any water to this like you would if you were doing the uh, peat moss because the peat moss is so dry. But this right here you all is it, it is what it is okay. So that's gonna do it y'all. I'm going to talk to you all in the next video about that alternative when it comes to, 
hey mrs puff <laughs> that alternative of gardening if you don't have the space what can you do what are your other options right if i stand still too long they start climbing up my leg so you all we're going to talk about that in the very next video because i'm going to keep going i have a lot of trays to start i think i have like 12 trays already going so i need to get four more going and that's going to include like i said before some herbs and whatnot but y'all post it in the comment section below i'd love to know like oh mrs puff <laughs> i'd love to know what you all think about your options for growing a garden this year can you do it do you think it's important do you think it's a necessity come on mrs puff do you think it's a necessity girl get your claws <laughs> oh, do you think it's a necessity right now to grow your groceries right more now than ever more than now than ever i certainly do so i would love to know your thoughts on that y'all there's no better time like the present to be growing your groceries all right you all so that's gonna do it for this video i know it's been several days since i've done one yes i've been busy with um the seed store everybody has been getting their seed orders in and i've been working hard to get them out on time so you all just make sure that you're taking all of these things into consideration okay but that's going to do it for this video you all if you haven't been to our seed store it is a homesteadheart.com all right a homesteadheart.com but we also have a lot of work going on here remember i don't know if i told y'all but we found some terrible happenings around our house that we had to get taken care of and that's that's happening right now and it's been a disaster i may show you all uh some of the pictures i mean it was just in seriously bad shape okay seriously bad shape but you all it's being taken care of it's being resolved we had no choice it's either that or our house falls apart <laughs> So y'all, that's gonna do it for this video. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and give our video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that we upload to our channel. And thank you all again for watching Homestead Heart. Me and Mrs. Puff gonna get out of here. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. She is losing it. <laughs> I'm gonna see y'all in the next video.